Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to use a new site called Logo Maker. And you may notice that Maker doesn't have an E in it. So it's L O G O M A K R dot com. Again, that's Logo Maker without an E dot com. And when we get to this site, what we're going to do is it will give you a little four step tutorial here. And you'll just go through and we can see it says find logos and graphics and we can search for them up there. These are the tools on the left over here. And to save it, we go up to the right. It's pretty simple process. And to get started, if we wanted to make an image, we can search for basically almost anything you want up in this. So let's say we just wanted to do something with WordPress. For example, we'll type in WordPress there. And now when these WordPress icons load, we can use one of them if we'd like within our site. So we can just click on a random one here. And to change the color of it, we'll have to have it se selected as we do here. And then we'll click on change color. And to change the color, we can use this color wheel here or right here as well to make it a different color. And once we find a color that we like, we can then go and uh, basically just stick with that color and here's the hex code color right here now to resize it, it's similar to Canva where we can resize it by taking a corner and selecting it and moving it and it's also similar as we can click in the middle and drag it and drop it somewhere so if you like how it looks you can just simply leave it as is click outside of it just like Canva is and then we'll hit text and then we can decide what we want to type here so if you want to just call this WordPress training, let's just say. And you can again resize this by dragging it. And here I'm going to actually just click out and I will then move it over here. Now, once we see at the top that here's where we can just select the font and what it looks like. If you want to go through them, that's what 3D looks like. Here's fun and funky. I'm just giving some examples. And here is decorative. So when we change the font, we find one that we like. We'll just stick with that. I'm going to do something pretty simple like this. And I'll leave it here. Now, if we want, we can change this font color as well to be something else. So if you want it, you can have it all this color or something like that. Or you can copy the color of the hex code right here, select that color, and use it to also be the same color here. So you have all the same color, and it, you know, goes with each other well. So if you wanted to add shapes to a logo, something you could do is, I'm going to delete these for now. And something you can do is you can just click the shapes button over here on the side, and it gives you a circle, a square, and a triangle. And this might seem kind of basic, but there's things that you can do with it. You can rotate it for one. And if you wanted to, you could have the triangle be sideways or something like this. And you can also resize it. And you can make other shapes with these. So if you wanted a certain type of shape, you could kind of combine them and just play around with them and make something cool. And you could just call this like building blocks or something as far as text goes. So let's just do that. And I'll put it right here, click outside of it, and now I'll drag it. And you could do something like that. If you like that logo, you would then be able to go and save the logo if you like how it looks. Now, there's other things you could do as far as the search goes. And I'm just going to delete these three again. Just click on them and click delete. Now, if we wanted to, we could just hit the search button and it will come up with a bunch of random type of default images that they have on here. So there's so many options as you can see. I know a lot of people like to use this image with websites nowadays or images like this. Um, and if you wanted to, you could simply use something like this. And let's make it green, I guess, for the color. And here, I'm going to just have a, a text below it and simply just write like, um, how about word, 
WP Labs or something. Sorry if that's someone's website. I don't mean it to be uh, using their name here. But it's just for this example, if you wanted to name it WP Labs, and that could be your site name. Another thing you can do, again, is edit the text color here. So you can find a color that you like, and then click off of it and save it. Now, the only thing I will say is that I do not think that you can make these images transparent on here. But maybe something you could do is load it onto PicMonkey, upload this image right onto there, and then make it transparent. Maybe that's a way that you can get around with that. Or if you have a Canva membership, then I know you can definitely upload it and make it transparent as well with the work membership on Canva. So, you know, work with what we got. But this is a good tool, and I hope that you're able to benefit from using it. And I should also point out down here is the crop area if you do need to crop the image as well. So I hope this was beneficial, everyone.